Hi, I'm Nicole, and I'm the senior testing editor in the Kitchen Appliance Lab. Hi, I'm Becca, assistant editor with the Good Housekeeping food team. Hi, I'm Kathy, I'm food editor at Good Housekeeping Test Kitchen. Hi, I'm Kate, I'm the food director at Good Housekeeping. <laughs> we are going to be re reacting to some TikTok food hacks. So you have your cereal on a skewer, and you're putting... I think you need like royal. To oh, make this I was work. gonna say you need white chocolate. Okay. Because that's like she has to hold it up, but it, I, this yeah. could work if you did white chocolate and then just or any chocolate and then let it harden and then you had this fruit loop chocolate straw. Yeah. Like actually, yum. This icing. It's just gonna fall apart. I don't well, look. She's like. It could be a cute idea if it's actually sturdy and stable. Like let's say you froze this and we're using it for ice cream or like a milkshake basically. So we're gonna try making a straw out of these fruit loops. I feel like we're gonna be here for a while, <laughs> which is not, do we wanna make a pattern? I, I guess think. it doesn't even matter. <laughs> if you're bored, this is definitely one great way to pass the time, yeah. stringing Fruit Loops onto a skewer. Maybe we have enough. Yeah, maybe there's long enough? <laughs> sure, I'll hold and you slather. Um, okay. This, I guess I'm gonna hold them close together so they don't move around. It's kind you of like a... putting butter on corn on the cob. So not the easiest is what it sounds like. Yeah. I like we're kind of even. Not bad. And this like if you can manage to rotate at an even pace. <laughs> <laughs> this feels like a two person job. It's definitely a two person job. we we've almost got complete coverage. We're getting there. Are you gonna make a nice little swirl design? It looks pretty good. You go for it, girl. <laughs> okay, something's happening. <laughs> now we have a baby straw <laughs> or a broken straw. Okay, I think that if we at least made it, like put it in the freezer, it would harden a little and maybe hold the shape a little bit better. It might actually work better with chocolate. Um, and if you put that in the freezer Agreed. or the fridge and then let it set up. Okay, so I'll pour the milk in Go for while it. it's still in the glass. You wouldn't be able to pick it up. Am I taking one for the team or are you doing this? I'll do it because I feel like you you were such a good sport. <laughs> for everything else. Everything else. <laughs> I've been planning it all off on you. I admit. And this is good luck. Yeah, thanks. Don't. <laughs> so not working. Oh, you need a bendy straw. It's not helping the cause. <laughs> I couldn't suck any milk through that. And it's so incredibly sweet. It's just making my teeth hurt and my blood. <laughs> it could be a good garnish potentially, but more for show, not anything that's actually usable is what I'm getting at. I already love this granny. Oh, granny. She's adorable. I love this woman. I'm gonna make my Nana a TikTok. Is there adhesive on the other side of that plastic? Like how is it sticking? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, look what's happening. Oh, she loves a Dorito. Well, I think it's I think it's sort of funny. I don't think the Dorito is the right thing. Like there's not enough space in that. And was that, were those diaper wipes? Or like wet wipes, yeah. If it was a fresh batch of wipes. I'm thinking more like smaller chips. Like, like a smaller bag? No, no, not Doritos. Like, like a Fritos, potato. cheese doodles. Like smaller items, not sure. nothing. No triangles, no pita chips. Teeny I items. like it. Though. I like it too. I mean, it could work for a massive pack of M&Ms or something. Mm. No. no. I feel like that's a lot of effort for something. Where yeah. you can just use a yeah. clip of some kind, whether it's exactly. purchased or just like office supply. Agreed. Binder clip or two, you know. Or a rubber band, or, or just roll it up. Any and other be fine number for of things. a week still, they don't yeah. go bad very fast at all. Yeah. This looks like something I've seen before and done actually. Oh, so I've totally done that. And it's what it's nice about it is it gets the it gets the peel off without mm -hmm. taking too much of the right. ginger. She's so delicate. Yeah. So we get after it. With a spoon. With a spoon. Yeah, like I would that. use a spoon. But I would also like, like use the the go the other direction. Yeah, you turn it over and use it just like a peeler, like scrape down. This works. Let's go to the next one. It works. Cart. 
cheetahs. Cheetahs. Pickles. Um, so the bag of pickles, it's not my style of pickle. I love pickles. I, I like cheetos. Yeah, the hot ones are good too. Um, but why? Like, why is this happening is my question. And I kind of want to put them in the air fryer actually. Ooh. Because they crisp <laughs> up and then you kind of have a pickle chip. Oh. Or a pickle stick. I mean, I would try anything once. This feels like a weird craving thing. So do you want this? That's good, we saw this now. vinegary like I feel like we could have heartburn yeah. just watching this yeah it's like heartburn in a video we have our flaming hot Cheetos we've got a pickle over here <clears throat> do you they are flaming hot <laughs> Marty <laughs> okay all right the second one was was harder than the first the first all right let's let's make a a fine Adjust. flaming powder. You make that powder, I'm gonna cut our pickle. Just in case. I worry about opening this and all of the, the heat, the like. <laughs> My <spice>. eyes! <laughs> There's some big, really big pieces in there too. We like it chunky. All right, so salt on salt on hot. Uh, these are kosher dills. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna cover them up, press it gently to help it adhere. Like maybe an after school snack? This doesn't, I could never imagine anybody making this for me after school. This, I could imagine like, you know, maybe some kids making this for themselves. There you have it. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> what? Yeah. I feel kind of lightheaded about this. <laughs> mm. Don't exhale too um, hard. You'll lose your crumbs on your shirt, like actually down your shirt. Yep, that happened. Um, <laughs> this is sort of good. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know how, like I don't think I can I actually. Never. I can probably take more one bright, but I don't think I can eat an What's really nice about it? She did it, it for us. Is that a flaming hot Cheeto isn't like cheese, cheese. It's like spice. Oh, so it's a spicy pickle with some like. Yeah, but do you think you could eat more of textural these? Textural bits. Yeah. Maybe like a beer. Yeah. Becca, would you make this at home? No. <laughs> Never. Ever? Never. I would make it for the sake of this video, and I enjoyed it very mm. much. She's yeah. gonna ask me to make them tomorrow. Oh, please. That's the verdict. I love uh, it. You would eat it if somebody else made it for you, but you would not make them yourself. Yeah. Also, the back of my throat, like down in my throat, is like on fire. Mm -hmm. I'm into it. It's like salty hot. Sure. Yeah. My mouth is actually watering. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're excited? Is that why? No, there's just this reaction when I think about pickles and how much I love them and how puckery they are. Okay. Let's do this. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. It's really spicy. <laughs> I like them because I like pickles, and that's why I'm going back for another bite. Mm -hmm. I don't think you need to dip them in Cheetos. I'd rather just eat a plain pickle. Agreed. Do I still want to put them in the air fryer? <laughs> I want to see what happens. <laughs> so we tried air frying them. And they got crispy and a little bit brown mm -hmm. on the edges. You could probably even let them go for a little longer. You might want them to get a little crispier. Yeah. And they are hot. I actually really like that. Yeah. That's the flavor I want. I think they're really good. I think it could go a little longer. But Agreed. What were your air fryer settings? We put it in at 400 for about five minutes. Okay. And we didn't flip them or anything. Yeah. So maybe between five to seven minutes for if you want it a little crispier? Yeah, I'd say so. Or you can even <laughs> put them in your oven for maybe at 400 for maybe five to 10 minutes. This is something I would think of. <laughs> so I have friends that love these flaming hot Cheetos, so that would make them really happy. And actually creating like some sort of dip to go along with this, mm -hmm. you have a bar snack in your house. <laughs> Using your air fryer, which I obviously love. 
I love a holiday Grandma taught me like this that. trick. Somebody's grandma used this trick. Oh, it's the brown sugar trick. So maybe these cookies are old or overcooked or too crispy. Yeah, it's brown sugar. It helps it out. If you feel like a little um, you think this citrus works. twist, you could add like a uh, some orange zest in there, like a big peel. It, it could Why? Work because it's about the moisture. It gives the moisture and a little bit of citrus to those cookies. Sure. I've actually put hard cookies and soft cookies together in the same container. Oh. And it does kind of the same thing. Everything becomes the same texture, so the hard cookies get softer. So I, I, I could actually see that working. All right, something worth trying. Yeah, but if they're I'm stale, little... they're probably still gonna taste stale. They'll just be soft and stale. So. Yeah. Oh, sure. cover it, cover the pan, cover the skillet. Patience. No, yeah, she yeah. didn't cover the skillet. She, oh, She's not done yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, as we've discussed before, moist food. Oh. So I will say, I also heat my pizza up in a skillet. I go end to point, so two big slices can yeah. fit in a large skillet. I immediately cover it. You do not need water. There's no reason to have any water. But this works, it's great. Crispy crust, good top. I can almost pull one over on my son who doesn't, who says that he doesn't like leftovers. My brother used to say that too. So full of and who says they don't like leftovers? Certain leftovers aren't as good as the first time, but you actually, part of a New York City slice is so the reheating. Good. I could also go for a slice right I, now. I've actually reheated my pizza this way. Um, it's just in. Oh, uh, but I've never water. put water in it before. So I guess they're trying to create like that combination steam oven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and look how melty it made the cheese. The theory could work. Yeah, yeah. I think this totally mm -hmm. works. Okay. I whatever it's getting it's soaked heinous. in, and then milk. microwaved. No. Why do you need cake if you already have these cookies? Why not just eat a cookie? Agreed. <laughs> if you're I, I'd be for kind of cake. curious <laughs> what the texture is when it comes out of there. It's just like an easy bake oven. Oh, I used to have an easy bake oven. <laughs> I don't like the texture of that. Mushy, hot cookie with and some kind of milk. milk. It looks like milk. So, mm, I'm gonna I have to pop, I have to turn it off. We do, Ooh. we have been known to microwave cookie dough. Yeah. You need like 10 to 20 seconds, oh, a little ball do? of dough. We can, we definitely can do that. This, I would pass by. I hope somebody else will test it and not us. It's like the extra cheater version of a mug cake. <laughs> we could try it. Yeah. We'll see what happens, see if we like it. Okay. Like our favorite type of cookie. You can try <laughs> <laughs> And then you can taste it, how's that? <laughs> So we couldn't find the red velvet cookies, but I personally like peanut butter much better. Same. So let's try it. So it was three, I believe. Yeah. And then just a splash of milk. I guess we're just going for a cakey texture. Yeah, I would not put too much because otherwise it's just going to be. Oops. A pudding. It's harder to mash than it looked like in the. Yeah, these are, these are fairly dense, but um, it's not really crumbling well. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too excited about this. <laughs> I'm also not convinced just yet at all. Like, I would really rather just eat the cookie. Um, also, not necessarily something I want. So, it's supposed to get microwaved, and then it'll kind of cook into a molten chocolate cake Hopefully. situation. Let's we'll see, see what happens. No. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, it's solid. It's not super appealing. <laughs> but maybe with some ice cream on top? Yeah. Hide the little bubbles that are taking place for some reason. <laughs> Go for Thanks. it. I, oh, knew, I knew you were excited about this. <laughs> it's soft, kind of cakey. It's weird, <laughs> but it's like, it's like uh, cookie dough. It's like really warm cookie dough. 
Maybe like an ooey gooey cake also. Should I have gone longer? I put it only for 30 seconds and the hack didn't specify yeah. how long they put it in. So it, it actually tastes like underbaked cake at this point. Okay. So maybe we'll Should try I a little longer. Put it back in. And then maybe it'll be a little firmer. Um, okay, it looks more solid. And the chocolate chips may have melted a little long more. So that's something. Looks firmer. Oh, I'm going. <laughs> so I'm the expert here. Yeah. Okay, I'll, it's I'll very, try. very hot. I'll try it with you. It's, yeah, it's probably gonna burn. I don't like it. You liked it better than the first time? <laughs> I don't like it at all. <laughs> it's, too, it's too much. I feel like if this was your thing, it would not be bad. Because you know how people eat like raw cookie dough? Well, this, is, this is cooked. Right. But it has that same texture yeah. and same kind of... Maybe if you're craving a brownie, like a warm brownie. And your but, point before, mm -hmm. it would be probably pretty good with ice cream. Right. I still want the ice cream. I'm yeah. not a cold. Yeah. So, not, sure. not a total fail. Not something I would do at home. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to Good Housekeeping. And comment down below what you think about these hacks. Or Becca's sweater. Bye, TikTok.